So as the year winds down, let's continue our look at the top 10 news stories of 2018. And this year was the year that the Me Too movement exploded into the public consciousness here in South Korea. Our Oh Soo Young has more on how young women in South Korea have been fighting for a future free of sexual harassment and abuse. It started with a confession from female prosecutor Ho ji who revealed the sexual harassment she'd suffered under a then-incumbent senior official of the Justice Ministry. The Me Too movement broke out with full force in South Korea in January, as Ho's televised interview led to public fury over the mistreatment and the career setback she had faced after she initially reported the incident. Ho ji case was followed by more revelations by women who came forward to accuse influential men in South Korean society, mostly in political and cultural circles. These include a provincial governor and former liberal presidential contender who stepped down after his former secretary accused him of rape on multiple occasions. A renowned filmmaker and an artistic director were charged with rape, and a potential Nobel Prize winning poet was also disgraced after accusations of sexual harassment, with his poems removed from school textbooks. The movement soon spread across universities, schools and workplaces as girls and women began speaking out. This soon gave rise to Korea's own With You movement, where women rallied to show support for the female victims. The movement also represents the stand against Korea's traditionally patriarchal society and work culture, which has made women all the more vulnerable to abuse and discrimination, while the country's conservative culture is deemed to have stifled them from speaking out. The World Economic Forum's Global Gender Gap Survey shows South Korea ranks 115th out of 149 countries in terms of gender equality when it comes to economic participation and opportunities, educational attainment, health and survival and political empowerment. Since the start of the Me Too movement, there have been growing calls for stronger laws to prevent and punish sexual violence and harassment, especially in the workplace. And fundamentally, many have raised the need to root out the long-standing culture of discrimination against women and to listen to those who raise gender issues rather than dismissing them as overzealous feminists. Experts say perceptions of gender issues have been changing for the better in the light of the Me Too and With You movements this year. But in order to go forward, more support for women and gender education is needed across all aspects of society. Oh Young, Arirang News.